tonight on Most Daring. Sit down. Buckle up. And hold on for dear life. You're riding shotgun with the world's wildest drivers. First, a criminal in cuffs hops behind the wheel of a cruiser. Hey, but can he handle the horsepower? Then, there's a reason traffic signals shouldn't be ignored. Just ask these guys. And later, half-naked chicks on bikes. See what happens when they go down. Plus, we reveal this week's Freaking believable. And it's a real stretch. Clueless commuter. Lead footed flunkies. Red means go on. Most daring. World's wildest drivers. On a normal day, the cameras on this bus catch little more than a long, boring commute. This is not a normal day. It's a scene of unimaginable devastation. The driver falls asleep right as he's approaching a traffic jam. And with his foot on the accelerator, the bus becomes a battering ram. Not even the screams of passengers wake up the coachman. Commuters are sitting ducks as the mammoth transport blows them to pieces. They pile atop each other like cordwood as their occupants hang on and pray. Finally, the man wakes up and slams on the brakes. But it's way too late. And now, the cleanup begins. An accident that took 15 seconds to unfold and wiped out over a dozen cars will now take days to sort out. And for the victims, a lifetime to forget. It's a miracle no lives were lost when this driver dozed off and became everyone else's nightmare. It goes without saying, when Mother Nature hits the road, drivers need to slow their roll. But all too often, they don't heed the warning until it's too late. Like this guy, who just took the icy on-ramp too fast and slammed his car into the guardrail. Mother. The motorist is unhurt. As he explains what happened to Lieutenant John Lambert. Both men marvel at how lucky he is that the wreck wasn't worse. Unfortunately for them, the real horror is just beginning. Without warning, a reckless woman hits the same patch of ice and skids into the men. I remember just thinking, there's no way you're going to make this. You know, you're dead for sure. There's not, no one survives things like this. Mariusz dodges in time. But Lambert can't escape. The brutal impact catapults him over the guardrail. Mariusz and the rattled woman rushed to his side. When I saw him, I thought he was dead. There was blood all over his face, all over his head. The other driver phones for help. 911, what's your emergency? Can you please officer? He was helping someone else. After several terrifying minutes. Can you hear me? Are you okay? Officer Lambert finally shows signs of life. Get up. He wants to know if he can get up. Tell him just to wait. The ambulance is on the way. 
Lambert is soon transported to the hospital where he's treated for multiple fractures and is currently recovering. I definitely consider us both to be really lucky. I mean, how many people survive being hit by the car outside of your car is just, you know, it's, it's a miracle at this at least. It's an all too common scene at intersections around the world. Impatient commuters ignoring traffic signals and paying the price. Like this man who thinks he can save a few extra minutes by running the red. He can't. The sedan driver tries to blast through cross traffic and gets blindsided. And now the only place he'll be rushing is to the hospital. At least he had airbags to soften the blow. But when the dangerous driver in question is on a motorcycle, nothing cushions the impact. These riders attempt to weave through oncoming traffic. It costs them a busted bike and bruised bodies. All because they couldn't wait for a green. This next motorcyclist actually is obeying the signal. But the truck isn't. The biker has the right of way, but the rush trucker ignores it. And the two-wheeler gets T-boned. The big rigger is lucky his victim will be okay. Because when you break the rules of the road, they break back. Cops in Oklahoma are caught in a high-speed pursuit. Get off here, Pennsylvania Avenue. Get your hands up! They're able to stop the suspect fairly quickly. <laughs> but they've got miles to go before they can finally put this nut in the can. He's cuffed and stuffed in the back of a cruiser. It's not the end of this story. Not even close. Suddenly, he Houdini's out of the back seat and hops behind the wheel. Incredibly, the double-jointed arrestee slips his cuffed hands in front of him and speeds away before the bewildered boys in blue can even blink. The cruiser's dash cam is still turned on. Only now, it's an adrenaline-fueled fugitive at the controls. The pumped-up perp can actually hear officers talking about him on the police radio. It's a harrowing high-speed thrill ride. Blowing through stop signs. Running red lights. At one point, he even passes another cruiser. But this joyride is about to reach a dead end. The speeding scofflaw hits a curb and pitches into a barrel roll. As the wreck settles, Officers hurry in, guns drawn. The suspect is soon apprehended and taken off to face justice. And now this cop for a day will be getting another view of the law. This time from behind bars. Coming up... When these free wheelers hit the road, they really hit the road. First, the traffic is light. But this guy still winds up in a jam. Then, think it's safer to walk? 
think again. And later, these scantily clad babes yeah. Hello. are gonna need some body work. Madness has the right of way on Most Daring, World's Wildest Drivers. On any freeway, even when traffic is unusually light, all it takes is one wild motorist to create chaos. The driver of this van is suddenly cut off and swerves at the last second, then flips the barrier before slicing right in front of a semi. The stunned trucker can't believe he dodged disaster. Though the van man he nearly hit is seriously injured. As for the person who started it all, now that police have this video, it's only a matter of time before he's the one being cut off. Moundsville, West Virginia. Every day, commuter Michael Carr starts off his morning drive with a stop by Greg's Market. It's normally pretty uneventful. But on this morning, another commuter spoils his trip. The lurching car slams him against the vending machines. The teen driver freaks out. Too hysterical to even back up. In her panic, she pursues her friend inside, leaving Michael to fend for himself. I was pinned in there pretty good, and I thought the legs were broke or something. It's, it hurt. By the time the girls return, Michael has pried his ankle loose from the wreckage. He still doesn't know how much damage was done. My legs were swelled up, had big knots on them. And they were skinned up. EMTs quickly put Michael on the road to recovery, thanks to a call from store manager Yvonne Hill. Apparently, she also found out that the teen didn't even have her learner's permit. She had no driver's license for a reason. She had no idea what she was doing. Hopefully the next time she's behind the wheel, it will be with an instructor at her side and no one in front of her. Fugitives like this 19-year-old robbery suspect like to think that if they just drive as recklessly as possible, it will get cops to back off. But he's got another thing coming. The kid weaves wildly through traffic, hoping it forces the officer to break away. Too bad for him, the veteran trooper has been doing this job since the punk was in diapers. And now, he better hold on to his tidy whites. Instead of calling off the chase, the officer decides to end it another way. With a well-tied pit. But while this runner's dangerous drive got shut down by the law, the criminal in this pickup is about to learn that throwing caution to the wind is also the fastest way to do yourself in. The outlaw decides to play bumper cars with pursuing cruisers. In this hard-hitting contest, he winds up the loser.
consolation prize? He wasn't seriously injured when his risky maneuvering caught up with him. But a couple of crazy crooks on a bike are about to face their reckless ways head on. The thieves think they can lose cops with a wrong way dash through a tunnel, but nearly lose their lives instead. Astoundingly, one pops up and runs immediately, while the other staggers to his feet to follow. But without their wheels, they finish runner-up in this winner-take-all showdown. In the end, these mischievous motorheads all learn the same thing. You can tilt the odds in your favor for a while, but any race against the law is just a race against time. Where's the worst place to have an argument? On the side of a busy freeway has to be near the top of the list. But with his wife and three kids in the car, this road rager is chewing out the trucker who just knocked his vehicle for a loop. Unfortunately, it won't be today's last accident. The woman at the wheel doesn't see the wreck in time and causes another one. She plows the family sedan and sends both men airborne. The scene looks grim. The two men and the female driver sustain serious injuries, while amazingly, the wife and kids are barely hurt. In the end, authorities press charges against the fighting men who turned the fast lane into a breakdown lane. When we come back, it's Bedlam on the Blacktop. First, impatient commuters try to beat the train. Guess who wins? Then, when high-speed fugitives go for a spin, that's exactly what they get. And later, it's time again for this week's Freaking Believable. And it's guaranteed to get under your skin. There are dangerous curves ahead on Most Daring, World's Wildest Drivers. A bus tour is a great way to see the English countryside. Just as long as this moron's not driving. He's not the official bus operator. This punk just stole the coach. Even worse, he's fall down drunk. Police aren't sure if there are any other passengers. They just know they have to get the South shut down before he kills someone. The giant transport plows into other cars like they're toys. As traffic gets worse, so does the damage. The road hog charges through and over a red light. While cops hang back and figure out how to stop a bus, the juiced up joyrider does the job for them and takes himself out. With the big rig stopped, officers move in. The good news is there are no other people on board. The bad news? The impulsive jaunt caused over $300,000 in damage. And instead of a ride home, this boozy Brit just punched his ticket to the clink. This section of highway in Madrid, Spain is notoriously dangerous. 
a fact you'd think would make drivers slow down. Unfortunately, this is an all-too-common scene. A lead foot in a jag takes the turn too fast, then skids out. And as he flips over the barrier, the woman filming the whole thing gets a terrifying sense of deja vu. She lost her son in an accident at the exact same spot just a year ago. Me impresionó enormemente porque en ese momento veía a mi hijo volando por los aires. Ironically, the woman was filming her drive to get evidence of just how dangerous the curve is. Mission accomplished. Now she just hopes this driver doesn't suffer the same fate as her boy. Thankfully, he makes it out of the wreck unscathed. Though it could have been very different when his need for speed nearly reached a dead end. In Los Angeles, even the criminals want to be movie stars. So when the media descends on these fleeing fugitives, their reckless run from justice quickly turns into a photo op. The passenger is actually flashing gang signs out the window at cameraman Scott Lane. And they didn't really care about red lights, didn't care about innocent people, didn't care about anything but themselves. They were having a good time while everybody else was having a serious time. In fact, the bangers are so busy posing for their close-up, they forget driving 101. Red means stop. With both thugs eyeing a newsman, they never see the oncoming sedan. The clip corkscrews them down the boulevard, shredding their tires and killing their engine. Now they'll get a little more time in front of the lens. Although this time, it will be for a mugshot. The other motorist is okay. No thanks to these hard-charging hooligans. They knew they were going to get caught eventually, so they were just enjoying their time before they got caught. And the way it ended probably surprised the hell out of them. They spent this chase looking for the limelight when they should have been looking for a green one. In a crowded city, rush hour traffic backs up for blocks. And here's the reason why. It's terror on the tracks. A group of careless commuters tries to beat the train. But they're stuck. And there's no stopping what happens next. With a tidal wave of mangled steel bearing down on him, one bystander barely scrambles to safety. But not everyone is so lucky. Witnesses search for the injured among the piles of crushed metal wreckage. Incredibly, only one woman was hurt in the entire incident. Maybe in the future, the drivers responsible will think twice about tempting fate. Especially when it's in the form of an oncoming train. Still to come. Someone hit the brakes. First... Police pull over a deadbeat drunk, only to discover he's not the only one on the road. Then, what's 
crazier than racing a 10-ton semi. Trying to do it blind. And later, you don't want to miss it when these girly gearheads expose more than just their bad driving. You're on a collision course with Most Daring, World's Wildest Drivers. The owner of this vehicle has spent thousands of dollars souping up his high-performance road warrior. So when it breaks down, you'd think he'd spend a little more to get a professional tow. You'd be wrong. Instead, he decides to save some bucks, get a rope, and pull it himself. While he's safe in the SUV, a friend and his son have volunteered to steer the trailing hot rod. Oh, Lord, going down in it, Gary. It's a decision they'll all soon regret. Because the driver in front is going way too fast, and the guys in back have absolutely no control. The men are helpless as their pal takes a turn at a breakneck pace, slinging them into the grass and nearly sealing their fate. I, like an idiot, started shouting, um, John, John, at the top of my voice. As if, um, the driver of the vehicle in front could have um, possibly heard us. We just had a bad accident bike. Fortunately, the passenger and his pop aren't badly hurt. Either myself or my son or both of us could have been very seriously injured, if not possibly killed. As for the owner, instead of needing a tow, he's going to need a new car. And maybe some new friends. Definitely wasn't a very smart idea. It's never fun to be stuck behind a bad driver. Especially when they're the ones... ...with all the pull. Kansas City, Missouri. Police have just arrested a man suspected of DWI. It's a job they can be proud of. Knowing one less drunk behind the wheel makes the roads a lot safer. At least, usually. As Officer Timothy Fitzgerald completes his inspection of the Boozer's vehicle, a second intoxicated driver clips the cop's cruiser and plows into the original suspect's car. The impact sends Fitzgerald flying back onto the concrete. The first lush now knows firsthand how his night of drunken driving could have ended. As for the struck deputy, he's lucky to get away with nothing more than a few bruises. He's also happy that a second tank motorist is taken into custody even if it had to happen the hard way. When protecting the streets is your business, you hope for a slow day at work. Unfortunately for these cops, tonight, business was booming. When it comes to wild racers, they don't get much crazier than these guys. With 120 tons of thundering steel blasting around the concrete oval, just inches apart, these truckers really have to feel every twist and turn to stay on track. Of course, that doesn't mean they should abandon their other senses, like sight. Olha uma pancada 
It starts when the driver skids into a banner. But instead of hitting his brakes, the blind buffoon actually tries to get back in the race and ends up getting 10 floored. Smoke belches from the wreckage. Much to everyone's amazement, this trucker isn't headed for the big convoy in the sky. He emerges seconds later. And though he's not exactly steady on his feet, the rig's safety gear saved him from serious injury. This senseless speed demon thought he could drive blind. But hopefully, he's seen the error of his ways. London, England. Driving an $80,000 sports car has its privileges. Illegal parking isn't one of them. But the owner of this ride is not the only careless person on the road today. A distracted coach driver oversteers a corner and demos a bus stop. Then turns the luxury vehicle into a subcompact. While the mashup looks catastrophic, no one is hurt. In fact, the crushed coupe turns out to be a lifesaver. At least if you believe the person who parked it illegally. Thank God that my Porsche was actually there because otherwise the bus would have continued probably into the beer garden. There were a lot of people outside. That's one way to justify your mistake. She's just fortunate the consequences weren't more serious. Because when this woman thought the worst case scenario would be a traffic ticket, she thought wrong. Want to be on TV? Just send us a clip where you capture something totally wild. And we just might use it on the air. <laughs> you can upload your video at uploadnash.com. Yeah! Or send it to Most Derek, P.O. Box 1910, Hollywood, California, 90078. Coming up, these racy riders are guaranteed to overheat your engine. But first... Find out the unbelievable reason why this fugitive is on the run and willing to risk it all. Plus, we're hitting the seventh inning stretch, and it can only be described as unfreaking believable. Don't make us turn this car around. On most Jerry, world's wildest drivers. Bixby, Oklahoma. It looks like a routine traffic stop. Not even close. The wild man in this white pickup was only pulled over for expired tags. But instead of stopping for a simple ticket, he charges headlong into oncoming traffic. With the extreme lengths he's going to just to get away, You'd think he was wanted for murder. Then again, if he keeps this up, he just might be. Blowing a red light, the bad boy is slammed to a stop. He gives up and shows his hands, but not his feet. With his arms in the air, the maniac floors it in reverse. Police try to blast out the tires, but it doesn't stop him. The 
lead foot rages into a shopping center where his deadly freewheeling is finally brought to an end. Don't move the car! In the back of the squad car, the worn out wheel man gets an earful for his reckless actions. You endanger a lot of lives for a misdemeanor war? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Was it worth it? He was only wanted for expired tags. But after driving himself to destruction, it's his time that ran out. On the side of a mountain, James Cox and his buddies literally take off-roading to new heights. For these 4x4 friends, the only thing more exciting than living on the edge is driving on it. Unfortunately for James, this big thrill becomes a spill. He pushes his luck on a ridge and goes wheels up. All he can do is hold on for dear life. When the tumble finally stops, James, are you all right? James steps out with barely a scratch. Even he is not sure how. It was all very, very slow motion inside of the Jeep. Went up onto its top and then just kept rolling. I think I'm done. We got a little more excitement than we bargained for. Now he knows that taking a ride on the rocks is a good way to get hung over. Located on a busy street, this gas station gets a lot of traffic. But it usually slows down first. Without warning, a drunk driver stops in for a fill-up at 40 miles per hour. His passenger is ejected onto the concrete. The sloshed motorist climbs out to check on his friend. It's just too bad he didn't show this kind of concern before climbing behind the wheel drunk. Because now he's going to have to answer to authorities for trying to fill his tank while being tanked. And now, a story so outrageous, so crazy, so bizarre, it can only be described as unfreaking believable. We've all seen circus folk twist themselves like pretzels. Been there, done that. But this pliable performer is about to pull a stunt that may make you jump out of your skin. Because where most people who spend their life in the spotlight get face lifts, this bendy bad boy has perfected the face lift off. And out. And over. And he's not just being cheeky. He's unfreaking believable. With a mug made out of putty, this rubber band man pulls his epidermis all he wants. And so can you. That's right, ladies. He's all man. Thanks to his extra special flexible nature, this real life Stretch Armstrong takes this week's title of Unfreaking Believable. Straight ahead, these ladies are flashing the high beams and deploying the airbags. That's next on most daring, world's wildest drivers.
some female drivers are more about style than safety. Yeah, come on! Whatever that style may be. At this bike show, a crowd-pleasing brunette shows off some TNA. Where the A stands for accident. The G-string joyrider butt plants on the rugged turf. Tarnishing her buns of steel. Nice wounds. But at this annual ATV party... What are you going to do? Go and do a lap in my bra. Cool. This sassy lass will take filthy showboating to a new level. Tessa hops on her rig for a couple half-naked trips around a waterlogged track. She proves quite skilled at working this big boy. Until Lady Muck pushes her luck. Tessa rams the embankment. Taking a handlebar to the gut. And banging her head before falling in the grime. Good thing this daredevil is one hardcore mother. Oh, yeah! But even the softcore variety can get talked into a risky ride. <laughs> At an erotic photo shoot, the director has an idea for his top heavy model. Right down the hill. Right down the hill. Let me see. This should be as easy as riding a... What is the brake? The bouncy broad asks the ultimate blonde question. What is the brake? Right before she busts her bust. <laughs> Good thing the factory installed airbags kept her from harm. It just goes to show that when entertainment is the driving force, women can be the wildest riders to ever hit the road. If you see these guys in your rear view, brace for impact. Because they're running reckless. And flying blind. They've got the pedal to the metal. Their balls to the wall. And the dubious distinction of being 